Hello again. An Irish ship has pulled out of a flotilla attempting to break the Gaza blockade after it was damaged while docked in Turkey. Activists have blamed Israel for sabotaging the vessel and says that lives of 20 people were put at risk. Israel denies it was involved. This is the MV Sirsha, the ship which Irish activists had hoped would set sail for Gaza as part of an international effort to deliver humanitarian aid. But it won't be taking part. It sailed from Cyprus to the Turkish port of Goycek, but when it left on Monday to test its engines, problems soon emerged. The crew noticed strange vibrations from the propeller shaft, and when the ship was taken into dry dock, it became apparent a chunk had been taken out. Activists say a Greek ship also sustained the same damage. Some of the experts that have looked at the propeller shaft so far have um, taken a guess. It could either have been uh, explosives, some uh, small amount of explosives, or it could have been an underwater steel cutter. And we're fairly certain that this would have been done by um, divers. The activists blame Israel, accusing them of sabotage. Now they have resorted to really foul means and means that would have directly endangered the lives of participants in the flotilla. If the shaft of the propeller had snapped, then it could have penetrated the engine room and flooded the boat. Israel's embassy in Dublin says they've no connection with the incident and no information on it. The flotilla is due to leave Turkey for Gaza tomorrow. With the Saoirse out of commission, a number of Irish activists will now travel on other ships. Ray Colgan, RTE News.